Camera rolling. Yes, I think it's working. Mic is on. Yep, microphone is on. All right, let's go then. Bonjour, comment ça va? How are you guys doing? Today we're talking about 11 table tennis VR experience inside the Oculus Quest. Let's go. Welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of VR. Today we're talking about the 11 table tennis VR experience on the Oculus Quest. A game which was first known as the Ping Pong Association back in the 1800s was then renamed the Table Tennis Association in 1922. It's today the most popular indoor game in the world. More than 222 countries are integrated with the International Table Tennis Federation. So the question is, how does 11 VR, the Table Tennis VR app in the Oculus Quest, fare against this beautiful game? Let's find out. First, let's explore more about the settings because there are so many of them, it really makes this app very versatile, including the ability to change the paddle from left to right. So you can choose the level of difficulty of the actual game from easy, medium, hard, world-class, legendary, and also reduce the artificial intelligence mistakes and also the AI auto-serve. You can choose to change the quality of the graphics, although at the moment it's purely default. The table appearance from default, which is green, dark, which is dark blue, and custom, which is orange at the moment. So you can also change your avatar as to how you appear to other people. You can change the settings of the volume, so the master volume with absolutely everything, just the music, the special effects, and the voice chat when you're talking to other people. And also remember to have your mic unmuted so that when you're playing with other players from all over around the world in multiplayer mode, they will be able to hear you. The other cool feature inside of this app is the ability to be able to place the table wherever you want at whatever height you want. So it doesn't matter how old you are, how high you are, or what kind of play space you have, this offers great flexibility. All you have to do is click on always active, then use your grip tool to just grip the table and place it at your heart's desire. Then just click on inactive so that you don't by mistake during the gameplay change the table's height or position. So you can also change the language of the settings from all these different languages and when I change to French the game is perfectly. And then you can also change the studio, the environment. So at the moment we are inside of a studio and then you can also choose to go to a chalet. The outdoor 360 image though is blurry. It's not very clear, so I don't recommend looking at it for too long or you may get motion sickness from it. But the game itself has no motion sickness. So the other option that you have is to do a single player where you can set the difficulty of the level. You can also choose multiplayer and also where all the names of the people will be listed will be here on the left hand side. And then you can go and join the lobby. So inside the lobby, you will see all the different players and different rooms available. You can also show all the different match history of your matches with other people. And you can also search for any player that you want to see if they're online and then invite them to a game. You can also choose to do mini games. Now inside the mini games, there's a whole heap of different things that you can do, including ball machine, quadrant, and beer pong. Ball machine has its own set of settings where you can change the ball machine's height position, how far, how close it is from you, and also how fast and how many balls it will launch to you. There's just so much you can do. Inside a quadrant, basically it's another exercise where you get to practice more about positioning. So you get to hit the ball specific positions and then you only have a specific amount of lives where you can actually play this game. Beer pong is very hard. It's also about positioning and also how do you get the ball to land specifically in a cup that's in front of you, it's really challenging, it's not easy, so do go and try it. Now let's talk about the graphics a little bit. You can definitely tell that the developers have put in a lot of effort in trying to make the game look as beautiful as possible. Where there were bigger issues, however, was when we were playing inside of the log. So when you lean towards the table, for example, you'll definitely see a lot more glitches and things moving around. It just makes the gameplay pretty much not really possible. So in this case, I definitely suggest that if you are going to hook up with this game, to play more in the apartment because the apartment is smaller, there are less polygons, and it's a much more smoother gameplay, which really gives justice to this unique and really beautiful experience. 
Before I give you my final thoughts on 11 VR table tennis for the Oculus Quest, I just want to give a little quick shout out to all those who commented and viewed the last video, which is all about the possibility of what the Oculus Quest 2 will be after the release of Qualcomm XR2 reference design and also the latest HTC headsets. You guys are really awesome. I would say that this table tennis app is not finished, but more starting on something that will lead to really beautiful things. I don't just see normal consumers using this. I really think it could actually be used in the sport by professional table tennis players themselves or people who want to become or aspire to become a professional table tennis player simply because it has so many different settings that makes it so flexible and the realism of the gameplay is there. Once the developers are able to work out the kinks, especially with the graphics and utilizing the power of the Oculus Quest, then this is going to be for sure a killer app. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Remember to like and subscribe, share some love so that you and I together we can grow the community and help as many people in VR. Yeah, because that is what it's all about. All right, until next time, take it easy. And as always, DJ, take it away. Woo!